Hey guys, welcome to your bi-weekly love reading. This is for uh, Scorpio for the week of August 1st through the 15th, 2019. So I have already shuffled and cut the cards. Let's go ahead and begin here. I want to thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my channel. I ask that you all please continue to do so. Uh, remember these are general, so they may or may not resonate, but hopefully you get some clarity from it. Um... If you guys want to reach me for a personal or private reading, um, you can call me on bill per call, but it's best to wait until I post a notification stating that um, I'm currently taking calls. Uh, sometimes I just post a note on the community tab, so make sure that you're checking the community tab. Um, and then if you want an email reading or a video reading, uh, those are completed within seven days, and I collect the payments on Fridays. So just email me for that information as well. All right, so we have the central issue, heart of the matter, as the three of swords, six of wands, the world, high priestess, eight of cups, nine of shields, Ten of Swords, and the Six of Swords. Okay, so central issue here. Something's going on where maybe you could be going through a temporary separation or maybe you have been, uh, this is something that was kind of past. Um, I feel like I'm getting travel for some of you, I don't know if you're getting ready to separate from your home or separate from something that's close to you because I feel like really all of these look like traveling to me. So I don't know if you guys are getting ready to move. Maybe that somehow is uh, playing out in your love relationships, um, having to relocate. Um, it could be that the minute you relocate, you make a love connection. Um, also, for some of you, you might have moved on from an ex. Maybe you've decided to move on from someone um, and start fresh and decided to start a new journey on your own. I feel like also this is about having success in whatever it is that you're pursuing or doing here. I feel like you are uh, inspired or you have the confidence to do something, to move forward with something. Um, Now, I also get for some of you, this could be an ex that's still thinking about you or wanting to come towards you. You're being asked to trust your intuition on some sort of matters dealing with the heart. You're, you know, I also feel like you may have dreamed about something. Something could have been revealed to you in a dream. Um, boy. I feel also like there are certain details going on in your love life that spirit does not want you to know just yet. So you have to be patient and just kind of go with the flow of things. Just keep, um, I mean, it's fine to listen to readers and psychics, but it's ultimately up to you to make your decisions. There's a need for you to use your own discernment regardless of the messages that you've been uh, receiving um boy okay so I get I get like there's a group of you that are going through a breakup and you, maybe you're wondering did you make the right decision in moving on from someone or letting go of someone or leaving your home um to be with someone else, you know, it's like something happens and you are like, I'm gonna miss everybody. It's like you're sad, but you're walking away from something that was no longer serving your highest good. Um, I feel like some of you are ready to be independent. You're ready to be on your own. Um, and so now you are, you're going through these changes. I feel like you are undergoing some sort of death of the ego. You're, you're going through some sort of transformative stage where it might be painful. It might be a little sad. You may have your moments of depression, but you're looking out for you for once. Um, I feel like for once something is about you. Maybe 
it's always been about your partner, but this time you're looking out for you and it requires a little pain to do that. Um, you have enough resources to sustain on your own, especially if you were in a situation where maybe you were codependent to someone and you were like, if I leave this person, I'm not gonna have any place to go. So that's why I'm staying with them. But maybe something happened and you have the confidence to move on. You're like, I'm, I'm not afraid anymore. You know, I'm just, I'm going pursuing my dreams or I'm going after the person of my dreams or I'm going after my ex. Maybe some of you uh, walked away from an ex and you realize that maybe you do realize you feel lost without them or you need them or that you made a mistake and you're like, okay, I'm going back to, you know, my ex or something. Or maybe this is how your ex is viewing you. Um, this first row here, honestly, it really looks like it's more about moving on and breaking up. So if you... If you were in a relationship, it looks like it's applying to people who were dealing with somebody. And it looks like you've just decided to walk away. Maybe you were in a position where you didn't know if you, I feel like it's more so about you wondering, did you make the right decision? And I feel like you are being taken care of. So it's okay. Just, you know, yes, you do have to leave this person behind because they weren't good for you. They did not feel, fulfill your emotional needs or your void, maybe you were looking for someone to fulfill some sort of inner void and you're like, they're not doing that. You know, it's it's been me all along. I need to look uh, deeper within myself. I don't need this person to fulfill this void. Maybe now you understand something about your self-worth and that's why you're deciding to separate yourself from this relationship. So I feel like these are strongly, these messages are more so for those of you that have been in relationships already, or you are in a relationship where you're still undergoing some sort of a breakup or separation. Um, these are the things that you're still dealing with. Maybe you asked for a temporary break at first and then said, let's go our separate ways. Um, let me see if this is the right thing for me. And Maybe you wanted to explore life with someone else and turns out you're like, no, that wasn't what I was looking for either. And you're like, I think maybe it's best for me to be alone <clears throat> um, or I'm leaving all the options that I have. Maybe there were a lot of people after you, a lot of people flirting with you. Turns out you don't like any of them. You're like, I, I don't like any of these people. I'm just letting go of everybody. So you go and start deleting numbers. Maybe you even um, decide to take down your social media. Uh, it's like you, you're you ghosting everybody to find yourself. I feel like you guys are feeling like you just need to find yourself. And in finding yourself, that is what is going to, to guide you to true love or to guide you in the direction that you need to be in. So just keep going. If you're in a position where you're like, I hope I'm doing the right thing, I think this is saying, yes, you're doing the right thing. You might be afraid, um, but intuitively, you know something or someone wasn't for you. So yes, it's time to let that go and move on. Now, if you have been completely single, I know. Yeah. Okay. So if you have been completely single, you're like, I don't know. I'm not going through any breakup. I think I'm picking up the energy of the person is coming towards you. The person is coming towards you has been going through some sort of separation. They've been trying to find themselves. They let go of everything. Um, and now they're getting ready to come towards you. And I bet the person that you're getting ready to connect to, maybe not for everybody, but I bet a large number of you, this this person coming towards you will be from another place, another location. Either this person is um, a foreigner from another country or they're just uh, foreign because they are moving away from, uh, it's like distance that is, that's like 300, 3,000 miles between the two of you. Anywhere from like maybe 300 to 3,000 miles away from you. So now 
this person who maybe finds themselves and happens to settle in your hometown, maybe it's your neighbor, I don't know, maybe you just kind of somehow run into this person and this is their life story. It's like, so how did you end up here? And they're going through everything. They're like, yeah, I just got out of a divorce. So I went through a breakup and I, you know, I just relocated. I packed up, I moved here all by myself. I left everything behind. So I almost feel like this is, if you're single, this is what's happening. The person that's coming to you has just walked away from everything. And just so happens that intuitively they were being led to you all alone. This, you know, by them listening to their ancestors or their spirit guides, um, it led them to you. So I'm, I'm seeing two people connecting here and learning from each other and growing. There's someone coming towards you where you have a spiritual connection with or uh, telepathic. Like you think of them, they're thinking of you. You guys have probably been dreaming about each other. Um, I feel like some of you may have even already had a dream that someone was coming towards you that didn't have anything. Um, or someone coming towards you that's having to start over. I feel like this was really already revealed to you. If that's not the exact story, I just kind of feel like something similar. You had a dream that someone was on their way to you. I feel like a lot of you have been sad and feeling uh, periods of loneliness and isolation. And it's like the minute you give up on love, like you're walking away, you're like, I give up on love. I haven't been able to find anyone. Um, I feel like that is when it, it happens. Um, now, I also get you may be dealing with someone who's going to be very alpha male, very strong and independent. This person has strong opinions that may even get uh, cause fights. Like maybe the both of you are very opinionated um, or you clash sometimes, but there is a need for you to compromise and listen to each other. I feel like something is exactly what you needed. It's like spirit is saying you needed this, this trust, trust. This is a blessing in, dis in disguise. Something is a blessing in disguise. Um, I feel like spirit is saying this is who you need. This is who is good for you. That this person is going to be good to you is what I'm getting. Um, this is some sort of wish fulfillment and dreams coming true. You may, might be trying to fight against whatever spirit is giving you, or you're saying, I didn't ask for this, or I don't want this. I, I feel like you're fighting with your inner voice. You're fighting with spirit. Um, but this, you're being asked to trust. It's saying, just trust, just go with it. Just go with it. Yeah, I'm seeing um, telepathic connection. For some of you, and that's usually, you know, you think of them, they're thinking of you at the same time. Um, the reason why you're dreaming about them is because they're dreaming about you um, or because they're getting ready to come into your inner, your energy field. They've been thinking about you. Um, it can also be, you know, like when you, you're getting ready to text someone, they text you. Hmm. I almost feel like this is a new person coming towards you, but you know them. Something about them is like a stranger, but familiar, if that makes sense. I feel like you're also being asked to trust again. Well, I said that already, but it's just being reiterated. Trust your intuition. Listen to your intuition. Someone coming towards you is going to want to have children or want to be a father. There's a need for you to set boundaries as well. I'm just going to look at the five of swords. I think what this is, is someone is putting their guards down. Someone is ready to open up and share themselves because someone is coming to the realization that in order to have love, they need to open up and allow themselves to be loved. Somebody may have been very cold, standoffish, and is now just kind of like, okay, let me put my guards down. Let me show my vulnerability. 
let me show you know because someone needs to learn how to trust the other person but maybe someone has been coming off too cold and icy Yeah, someone is ready to let their guards down. Um, hmm. There's a need to work things out. There's some sort of unfinished business. I'm also feeling like you could have left someone to work some things out with an ex or because you had some sort of unfinished business, even if you didn't realize it. Let's just say you broke up with somebody and when, the minute you broke up with somebody, your ex called or you got involved with your ex and turns out it's like, you know what? I don't really like this person. I understand now why exes are supposed to be exes or why I was supposed to break up with this person. Um, they remind you of everything that you did not like about the relationship. And it's like you needed that maybe one last time. So now that you have closure with an ex, you're ready to open up with someone new coming towards you. Yeah, someone is coming towards you ready to put um, their heart, wear their heart on their sleeve. If there was a third party situation, I feel like the third party situation is, is coming to an end as well. Or if it was, it could have been a third party that separated you from someone um, in the first place. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna briefly look at what the star is giving to you here. I also see this as some sort of healing. I feel like you're going to be relieved from some sort of burdens that you were having, something you were struggling with something. And so, yeah, you're being blessed. You're being blessed with something that's going to give you stability. And whatever it is that gives you stability and whatever gives you comfort, whatever gives you security. But it's, it's something's going to be a lot of hard work. Like if you're getting ready to start a relationship, I feel like it's going to be a lot of hard work, but it's saying that it's, it will pay off. It's worth it. And that you're being supported. Your efforts are being supported by the universe. You might be feeling like something is too hard. But I just feel like the universe is saying, no, it's going to be okay. Mm. I also feel like someone's coming back towards you saying that they have changed. They're like, I'm not that person anymore. You might be feeling like something is karmic. Or like you can't handle it. I just feel like whatever it is that you're afraid of or whatever it is that you've been trying to avoid, spirit is like making it easy for you. It's like we, we're going to help you. Whatever you add, this is what you ask for. We're giving you what you need. This is what you need. Stop looking at what you want. We're giving you what you need. Um, yeah. And so there is some sort of surprise element to this too. All right, so I hope that makes sense. Um, feel free to leave your comments. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Many blessings to you.